We'll go ahead and call tonight's regular uh, city council meeting to order. And for tonight's invocation, we've got uh, Associate Pastor Ken Manning of the Davis Memorial Christian Church. Taylorville Christian Church. I'm sorry, Taylorville <coughs> Christian Church. Heavenly Father, what a privilege it is to live in a country where we can serve and worship you freely and where we can uh, choose, Lord, to be able to uh, serve others as well. We thank you for these men and women who have chosen to serve others with uh, their time and uh, to dedicate themselves, Father, to uh, make our uh, community uh, a better place to live. And uh, so we thank you for them, and we ask that you will give them wisdom and guidance here tonight as they make decisions that will uh, affect all of us. And we pray that these decisions will also honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. I think we should get all the service we can out of our elected officials. So Terry France and John Lawrence, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Sean Bertle. Here. Ernie Dorchinez. Rob Heroin. Here. Bruce Jones. Here. Ray Kutz. Here. John Lawrence. Here. Martin Voda. Here. Earl Walters. Here. Okay, we have seven aldermen present and one absent. First item we have on the agenda is a motion to utilize the omnibus vote for so approval moved. of the minutes of the Second. previous meetings and public hearings listed on tonight's agenda under the title omnibus vote designation. Uh, Jones and second by Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Rob Haverly? Yes. Bruce Jones? Yes. Ray Kuntz? Yes. John Lawrence? Yes. Martin Boda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. Sean Bertle? Yes. Motion passes 7-0. <laughs> Okay, the minutes we'll be approving will be the minutes of the Special City Council meeting of April 15th, 2013, minutes of the public hearing held April 15th, 2013, minutes of the regular meeting held April 15th, 2013, and minutes of the Special City Council meeting held April 29th, 2013. I would entertain a motion to approve those minutes. So Alderman Bertle. Second. Second by Alderman Heberling. Discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Bruce Jones. Yes. Ray Kuntz? Yes. John Lawrence? Yes. Martin Voda? Yes. Earl Walters? <coughs> yes. Sean Bertle? Yes. Rob Heverly? Yes. Motion passes 7 to 0. Next, we have a motion to approve and ratify payment of bills in the amount of $350,714.35. <coughs> I'll make that motion, Your Honor, with some comments. Okay. Sure. Second by Alderman Walters. Go ahead with your comments, Alderman Lawrence. Total we're approving tonight. Uh, there's a microphone order. Yes. Okay. Uh, total of $350,714 for the first cycle of paying bills in the month of May. Uh, my usual big ticket items are as follows. Uh, our bills include the employee insurance payments, which cover our Blue Cross Medical, Dental, Vision, and Group Life for $105,649. Our <coughs> page 17 on your list has <coughs> the insurance fund, uh, which is spending $62,873 on uh, our property and liability, our workman's comp, <coughs> Uh, an additional aviation uh, airport uh, uh, package policy and uh, uh, bonding for our mayor for uh, the forthcoming year, a total of 62873 uh, First of the month, or at least uh, once a month, uh, we incur our direct energy electric bill, which uh, this month is uh, $6,807, and we also have the uh, delivery charges from Ameren and Shelby Electric, uh, $3,227. We're reimbursing all these uh, under a sales tax 
reimbursement agreement uh, second year for an increase in the sales tax of, uh, and that reimbursement is $7,385. I think it's interesting to note that uh, this year the 7% merchandise sales and the 1% food sales were exactly 50-50 as opposed to uh, last year, the first year, uh, it ran more like 51.4% uh, on the uh, merchandise sales versus the 1%. <coughs> uh, sales were up uh, and that uh, uh, basically generates a $7,385 rebate. Uh, page 10 of the safety committee funds, uh, we're spending $12,632 on the grant money we get for the safety uh, uh, spending. And our street fund is paying $8,800 to uh, Bodine Electric for repair of the Shumway and pressure stoplights. And uh, under our professional fees, we're paying our city engineer a total of $16,312, most of which is uh, already on hand in our sewer project fund or being reimbursed for the uh, Lakeshore Bridge uh, uh, redo. So that uh, those big ticket items uh, amount to 127000 out of the 350,000, and uh, to get it down to a $101,000 uh, routine budget expenditures, I have added uh, $26,000 worth of uh, water department chemicals that uh, are <coughs> really routine, but uh, that gets me down to a range that you don't have to explain, I think. Anyone else have <coughs> questions or comments? Alderman Bill. Question on uh, page three, Your Honor, and, and a big uh, run by Mr. Lawrence, and we weren't quite sure. Under Sperling title on that page there, there are several entries and expenses. Uh, can anybody clarify what exactly those were for? Is there a Those are the upcoming annexations we're going to be doing. Okay, so the, the difference in prices is what? Could you tell me that, Madam Clerk? I, I guess it was the, uh, depending on the uh, both that they did and how long it took them. Mm -hmm. okay, and then Some and took a little bit longer than others. Okay. And I appreciate that. And it's just, just an indication that as, as we continue to pursue annexation of properties, there are costs that are hidden behind the behind the curtain that we uh, we have to be well aware of, and these are those costs, uh, some of those costs. So I just want to bring that to the table. Thank you. Any other comments? Hearing none, roll call. <coughs> Ray Coons? Yes. John Lawrence? Yes. Mark Voda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. Tom Bertle? Yes. Bob Heverly? Yes. Bruce Jones? Yes. Motion passes 7 to 0. Next, we have a motion to approve abstract of votes from the April 9, 2013 election. So moved, Robert. Second. Alderman Walters, second by Alderman Jones. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. John Lawrence? Yes. Mark Voda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. John Bertle? Yes. Bob Heverly? Yes. Bruce Jones? Yes. Ray Coons? Yes. Motion passes 7 to 0. <coughs> Okay, uh, usually at the, the city's first regular meeting in its uh, fiscal year, we traditionally, it's, it's traditionally a short one because, uh, you know, the primary task is say goodbye and thanks to the elected officials that are leaving their positions and hello to those who are going to be replacing them. So we're going to move forward with that and, and I'd like to ask Mr. Uh, Lawrence, uh, Alderman Lawrence, uh, if you would be so kind as to meet me out front here. I'd like to make a little presentation to you. For the, uh, the last four years, John has captained the city's financial ship, helping us avo avoid potential hazards and helping us to plot the safe course if we, as we move forward as a city. John, I'm going to miss your stewardship and your guidance. You have been a dedicated servant to the citizens of the city, and so on behalf of the city of Taylorville, its employees, and your fellow aldermen, I would like to present you with this plaque in honor of your years of service. 
we have a plaque here that reads, uh, the City of Tatable presents this plaque to John Lawrence in recognition for the four years of dedicated service as an alderman. His financial guidance has benefited <coughs> all the citizens of Taylorville. John, we thank you. <laughs> we suffer from thirst, the water that renews our corridors. When we make mistakes, water can wash them away. When we are tired, it can revitalize us. Now, in today's world, we often take water for granted. But a day without it certainly makes us realize how valuable it really is. Well, you know, Terry France is a lot like water. When we thirst for knowledge, she provides it. When we make mistakes, she fixes it. When we feel the day has beaten us down, she shares that beautiful smile of hers, and we somehow revitalize her. Like the water, we sometimes have taken her for granted. And just like water, the day without her makes us realize just how bad it really is. Terry, we're going to miss you, and because I've now made it very clear that because you're leaving, we all will be suffering, I'm asking that you don't go too far to stay away too long. John, just one. One, John. Ha, 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 ha. 
Daddy Funk? None of this was choreographed before. You sure this wasn't Marla's idea? Jackie's all about the details. Carry <laughs> 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 this final rose to represent you, the fact that you will always be in the center of our hearts and minds. That's just gorgeous. Thank you all very much. going to take about a two or three minute recess. We'll come back with the new members in place. Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, I was uh, emailed today from the city clerk's office and she said that there was one uh, uh, item of business that wasn't on our agenda tonight, but mm -hmm. it really needed to be done. So if everybody would stand up in honor of the mayor's mm -hmm. 75th birthday. <laughs> uh, I believe it's 56. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Somewhere between 56 and 75. I've been asked to lead everyone in a chorus of happy birthday. Oh, this so with good. that. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Mayor. Happy birthday to you. Thank you all. Now a couple minute recess. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best city council meeting I've been on there. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do this more often. Uh, we'll start with the swearing in ceremony for the elected officials. And I guess I'm first on the list. So. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge, discharge the duties of the office of mayor. The duties of the office of mayor according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office of City Clerk. The duties of the office of the City Clerk. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Next we have the newly elected city treasurer, Jackie Nation. Repeat after 
except for me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office of city treasurer. The duties of the office of city treasurer. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Next we have Ward 1 Alderman Larry Budd. Thank you. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office of Alderman Ward One. The duties of the office of Alderman Ward One. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. I didn't hear till death do us part. Next we have Ward Two Alderman Rob Heberly. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of Alderman Ward Two. The duties of the office of Alderman Alderman Ward Two. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, uh, Ward 3 Alderman Ernie Dorchinez cannot be here tonight. Uh, he's playing, he's got grandpa duties that uh, I think uh, took pre uh, precedence over this. So I'd ask uh, Ward 4 Alderman Sean Bertle, please come forward. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Alderman Ward Four. The duties of Officer Alderman Ward Four. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. first yeah. and then we'll <laughs> <laughs> okay. all right let's have a roll call here Larry Butt here John Bertle yes Ernie Dorchin yes Bob Heverly here Bruce Jones here Ray Coons here Martin Voter here Earl Walters here seven aldermen present one absence I believe I, I handed out uh, a memo to all the uh, aldermen as far as the, the appointment of superintendents and what I'd like to do is I'd entertain a motion to approve the following appointments. For Street and Sewer Superintendent, Dick Wiseman. For Lake Superintendent, Alan Jackson. Police Chief, David Herbstreet. Cemetery Sexton Airport Manager, Bill Newberry. Health and Building Officer, George Calvert. Water Department Superintendent, Dave Spiegel. And Human Resource Manager, Cindy Brown. So moved, Brown. Second. Okay. Walters, second by Alderman Bertle. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Sean Bertle? Yes. Rob Heverly? Yes. Bruce Jones? Yes. Ray Coons? Yes. Martin Voda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. Motion passes 7-0. to zero. Now I would ask all those uh, people named uh, to please come forward and I'd ask the judge to swear them in. <coughs> I was 
I just want to picture you. No, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Please use your own name and pay attention to the judge. Okay. <laughs> when I say duties of the office, I'll just, you guys will say whatever it is. Okay? So if you raise your right hand, repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office of. The duties of the office of. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. They, they all do a great job for us, and we're very lucky to have them. You'll see George dress that very often. <laughs> all right, the, the next thing we have here is, uh, first of all, I want to start off by extending my sincere thanks to David Fines for his years of service as city attorney. Now, while I've chosen not to reappoint him, I want to make it clear that my decision is not due to a performance issue, but rather my feeling that a style change might be beneficial. In my opinion, it's somewhat like a coach replacing a player during a basketball game. Both players have their own sets of talents and skills and help the team in different ways. Rocky Romano is a well-respected local attorney who has considerable experience in municipal law. He has previous experience as a city attorney, and I believe he will, will do a great job in that role once again. With that said, I would like to appoint Rocky Romano as the city attorney, and I would entertain a motion to approve my appointment. Second. Alderman Walters, second by Alderman Kuntz. Discussion or comments? Hearing none, roll call. Rob Haverly? Yes. Bruce Jones? Yes. Ray Kuntz? Yes. Martin Voda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. And Sean Burrow? Yes. Motion passes seven to zero. So Mr. Romano, if you'd come forward, we'd have the judge do the honors. Where are you, man? Raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of city attorney. The duties of the office of city attorney, according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Okay, next we have the appointment of a city engineer. Joe Green has done some great work for the city of Taylorville for many, many years, and I would like it to be at least four, four more. So with that in mind, I would entertain a motion to approve uh, my appointment of Joe Green, the city engineer. Okay, Alderman Walter, second by Alderman Heberly. Okay, discussion or comment? Hearing none, roll call. Bruce Jones? Yes. Ray Coons? Yes. Martin Voda? Yes. Earl Walters? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. Sean Bertle? Yes. Rob Heverly? Yes. Motion passes 7 to 0. George? I mean, Joe? I <laughs> 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 just gave you a promotion there. <laughs> you sure? No. <laughs> All right, Joe, if you raise your right hand, repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the Office of City Engineer. The duties of the Office of City Engineer. According to the best of my ability. Judge Paisley, we certainly want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to help us tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, the only other thing we have is uh, committee assignments, and uh, I handed out a sheet of the committee assignments to each of the aldermen, and I will be more than happy to share those with the, the press. I'm going to share one for you. 
Okay, I think we're to the point where we can say per public act 96-1473, this portion of the city council meeting is reserved for any city resident wishing to address the council on issues that are relevant to the council. Would anyone like to address the council? Yes, sir. I, I just want to say, But speaking as a proud dad, the city, wow, what a joint view of me in electing my daughter as treasurer for the city of Taylorville. And she did not take that oath lightly. And I'm sure that over this next four years, you will see that the type of person that she is and the type of leadership that Terry Brandt showed to her. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thankful for the city for doing that. Well, thank you for that. And you have a right to be a proud father, mm -hmm. let me tell you. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, please. I would like to also echo Bob's sentiments about Jack. Mm -hmm. She did a great job. I'm very proud of her in the office, and it's been a joy to work with all of you, and all of you men up there, and women, <laughs> and uh, the city is in good hands, and I look forward to seeing good things come about from the council in the future. Thank you so very much for all of your, your kind kudos tonight, and I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay, seeing no further items on the agenda, I would entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. Who get a first one? I, I didn't hear, seriously. Ray, okay. Alderman Coons, second by Alderman Bertle. You know, you get older, you can't hear as well. Okay. <laughs> Looking good for 75, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Any discussion? Serious discussion, okay. All those in favor? Aye. Against? Motion passes. Meeting adjourned 7.35 p.m. <laughs>